Is it really necessary to brew Coors Light down as low as 34 degrees? Do the mountains really need to turn blue when your beer's as cold as the Rockies? You be the judge. Frost Brew Coors Light, the world's most refreshing beer. Well, a little chalk talk once again. We get to do yet another Marshawn Lynch touchdown run. How fun have these been over the last few weeks to see this Seahawk run game get going? Yet another 100-yard performance from Marshawn, four out of the last five games. I say once, I've said it a thousand times, the run game works because everybody executes in the NFL. The collegiate level, you don't have to get the right guard to block particularly well, and the defensive tackle doesn't make the play at the college game. At the NFL, you got to get a hat on a hat, and then you've got to have a back that can make the difference on the back end, or in this case, Philadelphia's safety just take a horrible angle and not finish the play. So let's look at uh, this touchdown run. This was Marshawn's longer touchdown run. This wasn't the scrum where he broke out of to make an incredible play. Uh, this one was really executed well by everybody, including once again, a coaching staff that put their guys in position for success. Now you've heard Philadelphia all season long talk about these wide nine techniques. If you've watched the NFL and the NFL Network, all of these wide DNs are so wide. They get downhill and they get downhill and they stand in that funny little crouch, you know, to get low to the ground and beat the edge and get that penetration. Well, the Seahawks capitalized on that, like many teams have done this year, looking at those techniques and running their zone play and pulling, in this case, McCoy, not Zach Miller, who's done such a good job throughout the year of coming across and cutting the backside off. Well, this time it's McCoy doing it, and they're going to run his own play. And the first thing I want to talk about is, uh, is many times in these zone plays, you want to run to the A gap or the one technique. Okay, and what that means is this defensive tackle. This is your A gap. This is your one technique. This is your three technique. So the inside's a one, the outside's a three. So you're taught very early in, in, in run checks, okay, hey, on our zone run, let's run at the one technique. So they're gonna run this zone play to the one technique, and this is why, because everybody has positive angles. Max Unger's on the D tackle. Robert Gallery comes up on the weak side linebacker. Okung is on the end. The free safety in the box is gonna be the farthest defender away from the run when it comes back. Man coverage on Golden Tate. This is going to allow uh, Big Redhead McQuiston a good angle on the Mike linebacker. Breno gets to come down, and you're going to leave the end, and then ask Zach Miller to make the biggest block once again, and that end's coming up field. So as you can see, you run to the one technique because everybody has angles. They all have leverage pre-snap and, and really a half-step advantage or a shade advantage on all those defenders, and just about everybody does their job really well. Not the best effort uh, from Okung, he's been better. Not the best effort from Quiston, actually the Mike linebacker uh, crosses his face a little bit, but by and large, the push is good, and this crease is created right here. Okay, McCoy comes underneath, and that's really point number two, because when you've watched a lot of the play action pass, a lot of these zone teams like to run this play action pass where the guy comes underneath, they call it a sneak route. Okay, so you can picture Tavares in play pass, faking the handoff, and here comes my sneak back out into the flat. Well, this time, this is the zone run. He hands it to Lynch, and that little sneak guy has got to take out the defensive end, as McCoy does. And then I'll say it once again for the 5,000th time in Chalk Talk, Zach Miller got paid a lot of money, a lot of money to catch touchdowns and be a receiver. Zach Miller is earning his dollars blocking. He may not be doing it receiving. He's got the most difficult block. Where everybody has leverage, he's got a linebacker in space one-on-one. -on -one, and once again, he does what John Carlson could not do for the last three years in any way, shape, or form. He owns that strong side linebacker. Watch the video, watch the film. He comes up, he may even get away with a little bit of a hold, but he's so physically imposing, he is so strong, he gets his helmet on a helmet. In that crease, he gives Marshawn Lynch room, and then it's off to the races. The corner didn't want any part, the safety takes a horrible angle, and Skittles gets another big touchdown.